Hey, hi everyone. Uh, this is Gautam Rajesh Shelly, and uh, thanks a lot for joining in. We have Mohit with us, and uh, who is our co-founder at ASNC, and we have Ekta with us, who is the strategic partnerships manager at Meta. Uh, thanks a lot, Ekta, for joining in uh, and being here. And we'll start with some polls so that you know we get to know uh, where is this audience at this point of time, so that we can you know uh, drive this session in a much 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 better manner, right? And uh, we have a lot in place for you guys. Uh, it's very special launch uh, that we are doing today. There will be a session from Ekta first. Uh, then Mohit will be taking over and then I'll be coming up uh, with showing you some more exclusivity on how to actually do things. I'll just show you a quick video of the launch and we'll hand it over to Ekta there onwards, right? Great. Uh, I hope you love the video. Uh, I'll just hand this over to Ekta now and she can just take it over. Thanks a lot, Ekta, first of all, for being here. Thank you so much, Gautam, for giving me this opportunity. And thank you, everyone, um, for coming in. I have been here in Meta for three and a half years. I'm working as a strategic partner manager, uh, trying to build the ecosystem with the partners and spread awareness about click to WhatsApp ads. Uh, working with AICNC very closely on uh, scaling click to WhatsApp and telling the clients, the advertisers, the businesses, the importance of why click to WhatsApp and how they can best run those ads to get the maximum potential and best results. And I can see like those results where you have shared so many people, 45% people already using click to WhatsApp, happy to use this session to answer some of the queries and share best practices so that you can actually go back and apply those to get lower cost per leads, better engagement and better sales. So this is the agenda for today. I'll be talking about why business messaging and why WhatsApp in particular. Uh, what's the WhatsApp as well as click to WhatsApp journey look like? Uh, why and that click to WhatsApp and some of the best practices so that you can optimize and use these uh, once you go back. So why business messaging? Uh, we all know there are dis different traditional ways in which we contact uh, the different businesses, for example, the call, email, but we don't want to wait for our response, which is why in your survey, we have seen clearly from these numbers that the traditional ways people are not very satisfied with those communication methods. What we want to do today is I send a message to a business on a platform, which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Plus that blue ticks lets me know that, okay, there is somebody on the other side who's going to respond to me and who has read my message. Uh, that's why through this uh, survey, we were able to find out that in 2020, those who were who have sent a message to a business, 74% of the people want to continue doing that and continue interacting with the businesses in the same manner. Coming to why WhatsApp businesses or why messaging on WhatsApp, we all know the power of this tool. Uh, there are 2 billion monthly active users across 180 countries who are sending 100 million messages per day. But we can always say, what is the number for a person to or a business messaging? So this number is 175 million where people communicate with a WhatsApp business account every day. So you need to be there where a customer is and you need to be there where they want to interact with you. Coming to ads that click to WhatsApp, uh, this is how the journey looks like. 
uh, you can show these ads on any of the Facebook or Instagram platform. Um, once a person sees the ad, they can click on it. And there is a whole journey which you can build and optimize for increasing the conversation and achieving your objective. You can also re-engage, which is the last step. Once the customer say it was for selling. So once our customer has done a purchase, you can send them a feedback link and you can re-engage with the customer on the same platform for cross-sell, for promotion, for any new services which you want to offer. And that's how you close the loop across the customer journey. So this is what uh, a WhatsApp can help you, which is basically in a pre-purchase, purchase and a post-purchase journey. When we talk about pre-purchase, there are different use cases. Um, I'll just speak about the most commonly used use cases, which you and me would have used and seen from the customers is if I want to buy a product, I have so many queries about the product, about the service, if there is a warranty, how do I pay online? Uh, so all these questions are very important and they need to be answered in time for a purchase to happen. The second piece is the purchase option. Once you have answered my queries, I have made a mind to either see more products. So where you can send me the catalog, you can tell me whether the different SKUs are available or not. There could be like a very customized uh, consultation which you can offer to me. And at the end, when I want to buy it, you can also give me different payment options either within the WhatsApp ecosystem or you can give me an external checkout link through which I can make this payment. Post purchase journey could be taken into care option which is more support use cases or you can also build some loyalty programs around it. So all these three journeys are supported on WhatsApp and can be approached in a way to achieve awareness objective, lead generation objective, uh, engagement objective, sales objective across the customer's life cycle via click to WhatsApp ads. Coming to the basic question of, I know some people said they want to, 33% uh, people said they want to uh, try click to WhatsApp ads, but there were people who don't want to. So for them, like this is very important how and why click to WhatsApp ad is important. So it drives the user initiated messages, which is one piece and enables you to unlock the potential of the WhatsApp presence across the user life cycle. So I'll talk about these two pieces. Uh, how, why is user initiated messaging so important? So there are two types of messages which a WhatsApp API enables. One is the user initiated and the other one is the business initiated. And user initiated, the response is free for 24 hours window. But why we are giving you this method of click to WhatsApp? If a person clicks on an ad uh, and coming here as a user generated message, there is now a 78 hours window uh, for a business to respond free. So this window for click to WhatsApp is 78 hours because we know that a if I am making a sale, it might not be possible that I complete that sale in the same day. That's why we have given the 78 hours window to close that transaction. We know there are certain follow-ups, people don't respond immediately, or people need time to go back and Google certain things. So that's why our three, 78 hours window is very, very crucial. And we don't want the businesses to pay for it again once they have paid it for the click to WhatsApp ads. There are different ways in which you can reach your audience uh, and expand that reach. First is basically you can use different targeting ways which are available on click to WhatsApp and increase your target audience. You can optimize your conversations in a way, A, through selecting the right objectives and right optimization, which is there while you're creating the ad. And you should always have like a very good journey which your customers will experience once they click on the um, WhatsApp ad. That journey is also very important to convert them directly. The third piece is drive discovery and demand. 
So your creatives play a very, very big role. We have seen literally a lot of brands or businesses. Uh, there are, we have been working with a lot of SMBs trying to see what creatives works, what creatives don't. Uh, how do we optimize the ads? And we have seen that creatives play a very, very important role. Uh, for example, there was an SMB brand uh, who was trying different creatives. And guess what? In India, the maximum number of clicks they got on a creative, which said, obviously, the maximum, say, XYZ percentage of discounts were there. Instead of on where they were telling about the product or where they were telling about a new service. So there are, you have to play with different creatives to understand which creative works for your ads the best. The last piece is the measurement piece. Uh, we give you on the ads manager a lot of metrics, but that ends at the point where a user has entered the WhatsApp ecosystem. After that, the whole journey is encrypted. Uh, I'm sure uh, Mohit would be speaking about how they can help you in building that measurement. And they've already built that solution so that any of the clients using their, their system can actually measure these results. Coming to how and what are the places you can place your ads. So any of the Facebook platform or any of the Instagram platform uh, you can place the ads or click to WhatsApp. Uh, as you can see, Facebook News, Marketplace, Instagram Feed, Instagram Stories, Timeline, these are all the different options where you can show the ad to the user and tap the potential of not just WhatsApp, but tap the potential of Facebook and Instagram as well. Because that's where a lot of people are there present in India and they browse daily. Uh, for reach, the right targeting is very important. Uh, you have different ways of targeting. You can keep it very broad or you can use a detailed targeting, which gives you different options. For example, you can select a geo, location, age, gender. You can also build custom or lookalike audiences. If you feel that, hey, there are certain customers who have been churned. I want to show ads to them or somebody who is similar to that. You can create those lookalike audience. Once you have sorted the targeting, the next piece is what is the ad format? Do you want to show the carousels, videos, image? If you are selling different products, probably it is the best option to show carousels and let the people click on the product which they like and start the conversation. Once they click on send message button or whatever creative you have, uh, they enter the WhatsApp ecosystem. And you need to optimize it for conversations for what is your end objective. Uh, you can use multi-product messages, reply buttons. Uh, you can use personalized guided selling. There can be different lead generation or qualification options. For example, if you're generating leads, it is good to ask some of the qualifying questions. Disqualify a lead and the ones who have been qualified, go reach out to them again go broadcast a message, you send them a call, you send them a message again, do a follow-up. There can be different ways in which you can follow up with them. Uh, these are the three main use cases which you can unlock through ads that click to WhatsApp. The first is the lead generation. Uh, we have seen at least to mid-market to SMBs, this has worked wonderfully. Uh, we have been trying to work with drive sales objective as well. We have seen a few key studies and success stories, but we are still building upon it because this means a very, very curated experience when you are bringing the customer on WhatsApp. You need to use the multi-product messages. You need to use the list messages. You need to give all the options to your customers so that ultimately they make a transaction on WhatsApp. Last but not the least is you can also use for building loyalty. Once the customer is there, they have made the transaction. It's good to follow up with them, uh, keep them engaged and increase the lifetime value of a customer by building some loyalty programs on it. Uh, for creating the leads, it's very important that you share different type of information which you have about yourself. Give them the brief. So there can be two types of customers who are coming. 
who have clicked on the ad, one who knows about your product, you can start asking the qualifying questions. But ones who don't know about your product, so it's a good idea to first tell them about your product and then ask the qualifying questions so that the answers which they give are giving you like a clear idea of whether that's an actual lead or not. MRV, it's one of the construction companies in LATAM. Uh, they use these ad format and they got 33.6% increase in the leads and 5.9 point incremental ad recall. What happens is you go to the new audience, you build that flow for them. And that's where you get the success. That's where you get the maximum leads. And some of the clients have told us that this is the platform which has given the best leads in terms of quality which is also very, very important. Uh, BCA, that's one of the banks in Indonesia. Uh, they were using the ad format on Facebook platform. They were able to get 23% increase in leads as compared to their previous campaigns. They were running it for the car loans and there were 5x increase in conversations about the car loans which they were offering. So that's a very good number and they were really happy uh, with the kind of results which they have got. Coming to Renault, uh, they ran these ads, they got 5.6 point lift in the campaign awareness and 163% increase in total direct communication with the clients. Uh, what they did in Turkey is they wanted to reach out to the new audience who can purchase their vehicles and because of this initiative, um, people started considering Renault as a tech-savvy brand, which also helped them in increasing the sales uh, more and more. Coming to the second piece of the objective, which is driving sales. Uh, you can offer a very curated experience. Uh, there could be high touch, high consideration sales. Um, you have to use different buttons, which enables people to get a good experience. Uh, Multi-product messages, product display pages should be the key while you are giving a shopping experience to any of your customers and try to drive maximum transaction in the same conversation. Complete those transactions either on, within the WhatsApp ecosystem or outside where you can take them to your own website or an app. Uh, just sharing one example of Fiat where it was a high touch, high consideration purchase. They saw 33.6% lift in their car sales and 7.8 point increase in the ad recall. This was like a game changer for them. Uh, they started that off in the pandemic. They were facing major challenges. Everyone faced it. Every business faced that. Then they came online, they used this platform and unblocked or unlocked the full potential of it. You can also build the loyalty programs. Uh, once the customers are there, uh, it's good to increase their lifetime value. Post conversion, you need to engage with the customers. And that's how and tell them that, okay, if you have bought this, this is what you earn as a point. If there are points which are expiring, you can share details about that and keep them engaged. Now, coming to some of the best practices, which I talked about earlier, you have to understand that not every setting is meant for every brand. There, You need to do a hit and trial. We can share these best practices across uh, these four pieces. Uh, but my suggestion would be try to see which best practice suits you the best. There can be different options to it. Coming to the first one is um, there are two options, link optimization and conversation optimization. We, we advise or recommend to use conversation optimization so that the people who are coming to your WhatsApp account, they're more likely to message the business and more likely to have those valuable deep conversations with you as compared to link optimization. The second is the automatic placement of ad. There are two ways in which 
uh, you can do the placements. Uh, we recommend using the automatic placement across Instagram and Facebook to deliver the ads across the across different apps and placements. Uh, signals is a key thing uh, and measurement plays a big role here. So like I mentioned earlier, once a person clicks on the ad, they go to the WhatsApp ecosystem and all these messages within the WhatsApp ecosystem are encrypted end to end. So not, Meta's, any of the platform will not have the visibility of what happened, whereas the business will have the information and to see that whether the leads are generated, whether the conversion actually happened. So we request the businesses to send those signals back to Meta so that we can optimize the ads and give you better ROI. In between, there are different ways of getting the measurement done. Uh, we are working with all our partners who are partners on uh, click to whatsapp to build a measurement framework on their end uh, where they can show you what were the final leads how, what was the quality of the leads uh, whether the final transaction happened or not which will give you the actual roas of the uh, ad so there can be two different ways you can also set up in your ads manager there is an option to set up the measurement so that measurement will have two parts. One is the test audience and one other one is the control audience. Uh, you can select the test audience who will see the ad impressions and you, you know the final conversions, what happened through that campaign. And your control audience will not see the click to WhatsApp ad impressions. And you know what is the final conversion happened through your control audience. You can see the lift percentage which happened, incrementality, based on statistically confidence, statistical uh, significant data. So that's a way of saying that you can do like an A-B test where you have one part of the audience seeing the ad impression, the other part of the audience is not seeing the ad impression. You see what is the percentage lift in conversions which happen once you so show them the ads. Now, uh, use your ad to set the expectations. And that's one of the key things to remember. Uh, the starting point is the ad, which I can see on the screen here for Jasper's Market. It's very important to show the creative, which talks to me and which tells me why I'm going to click, why should I click on this ad? So it should be very clear from the creative. What we have seen or what we have heard from a lot of and users as well as from the businesses, people get confused about the CTA button, which is there. So if you can see there is a send message button, there can be different options which you can use, contact us, learn more, sign up, send WhatsApp message. But because people are not habitual of leaving the platform once you click on any ad, so they don't anticipate that, okay, it's going to open up my WhatsApp account. So it's very important to show that once you click on this ad, it is actually going to take you to a different app, which is WhatsApp. And we are going to have a conversation there. People should not be taken by surprise. Last but not the least is uh, communicate the value of WhatsApp experience, highlighting the convenience, flexibility, and the exclusivity. So you can probably think about what is the value proposition, which I want to give it to the customers. And you have an option to target different customers, right? So maybe in your detailed targeting, when you're targeting the set of customers who know about your product or who have done single purchase or who have come to your website earlier, what is the kind of value proposition or creative you want to show it to them? And there is a second set of audience who have never heard about your brand or services. Uh, what is the creative you want to show it to them? They you want to show about your product more as compared to saying that, okay, this is the discount percentage. I don't know what is, what is the product on which I'm getting the discount. Communicate the value and deliver it. Uh, make your messages very, very personalized and useful to the users. 
and avoid messaging too frequently because people will consider that as a spam and they might block you and they don't want to talk to you again. So this part is where, where after clicking on the ad, we land here. It's very important to curate this thoughtfully based upon the experience, based upon the journeys or products which you have. And it's important to give the right value to your customers. Uh, we have the button options and I always, uh, always say that that typing, uh, tapping is easier than typing. So use those different type of buttons which are available uh, because it makes the navigation through the whole customer journey very easy and it is very these are the text and say type one type two type three but uh we recommend using the list messages because this is much more clearer and simple for a user they just have to tap on the option which they want to choose and it goes on from there Create a personalized shopping experience. So if you are, uh, your use, use case is selling, we will recommend you to use multi-product messages. It's a very neat way to show 30 of your products in the catalog. And the product display page helps you share more details about the images, gives you a CTA to either add to the card or message the business and do that conversation ahead. And finally, you can give them option to do a purchase as well. Again, whether in the WhatsApp ecosystem or outside. Be responsive to the customer needs. Um, it should not be the case that you just have a bot in place. Uh, that, for example, uh, I know a SMB brand who curates or customize certain products, right? So it's not possible for a bot to do the end-to-end -end conversation. Ultimately, it has to be escalated to a human person, a human agent who will talk to me and tell me that, okay, this is what I need and please take this order or customize this or whether you have a different color or not. So give your customers an option to talk to an agent. If you feel that there, is, there are certain points in time where you want to give this option, you can choose to do that. But there should be a time where you where they can actually go to a human agent. Or, so there are different automation best practices. Um, it's always good to use uh, opening message um, where, for example, if you have just working hours from um, 11, from say 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it's, if somebody is responding or replying or click on, clicking on a button, not in that time zone. It's good to have like certain opening message. Hey, this is our working hours. Uh, you should always share more information with them where they can contact you uh, and be very, very responsive. Uh, even when the chat has been handed it over to the human agent, you don't want to uh, lose that customer. And you can also use certain kind of support forms to take the inputs. Uh, and if you have a retail store or if you want them to visit the store, you can share the directions, you can share uh, certain coupons, which will incentivize them to visit your store. So coming to the end, but I want to end with a summary saying that consumers are there on WhatsApp and they want you to be there. So try to be there where your audience is. Click to WhatsApp is a very, very powerful tool for driving user initiated message and unlocking a discovery and new target audience for uh, the brand. You can leverage different uh, audience and drive use cases like lead generation. Very, very successful. Tried and tested with the mid market and SMBs, driving sales, trying to use with the mid market and the in market, like the key brands. Uh, build loyalty, which is very important to increase the lifetime value. Utilize all the best practices which were shared just now. Measurement, creatives, 
uh, target audience, what is the optimization, and this will be very, very uh, change or subjective to the kind of brand you are. So make sure to play with all these uh, different parameters which can help you optimize your uh, ads. I could see one question, how this could be helpful for an ed tech industry. Um, so we have a lot of ed tech players who are using it for subscriptions uh, in two ways. One is you can increase your supply and have uh, different um, ways of reaching out to the teachers, uh, onboarding them and increasing your supply. You can also use it to reach out to your consumers to tell them that, okay, these are the different packages, subscriptions, um, classes. You can book the trial classes through it. So there are different ways of answering them. How the human chat and API chat can be done in a single window. Uh, so the API enables you to have a bot plus a human agent who can work together. So for example, you might have two, three questions which are automated. And after that, that API can let you hand it over to your chat, uh, to your agent. So that can go hand in hand. Mohit, do you want to answer this? How to make the product purchase take place within the WhatsApp screen, including add to cart and payment collection? Is it possible to complete the purchase uh, using different methods? So you can actually show your so PDP is the way in which you can add to cart. And there are different payment methods as well. Uh, I'll let Gautam take this question and answer in detail because they have the solution present. Sure, sure. So yeah, so yeah, quite of it is uh, almost possible. Uh, the product catalog features we are launching in next week somewhere. So a lot of it would be possible there onwards. So yeah. Uh, please also show how to set up a campaign for lead generation. Uh, so we'll be doing that in upcoming sessions. You'll be able to see how do we set up those campaigns. Right now, in the next 20 minutes, we'll be showing showing this, right? Yeah. Is it good for hotel room booking? So yes, there are different travel companies who are using this format, definitely, and it's working wonders for them. Room, room booking could be like in two parts. One is, obviously, if you want to drive, if you feel that your brand or business is new, you can drive engagement awareness first. And then in the same journey, you can also enable and give options for example if somebody wants to go to goa so you ask which place they want to go what are the dates give them options and let them book that uh hotel room or you can also take them once they select it you can also take them to your website how to benefit for food delivery aggregators there are different food delivery aggregators who are already using uh, the whatsapp platform and click to whatsapp ads uh, Again, it could be divided into two parts. Like I mentioned, for the consumers, it is very obvious use case where you show them uh, that, say, certain options, if there are if certain uh, discounts are running, if there is a sale, if you want to run, so for example, just taking an example for Zomato, if they are launching a new product, they can show it to the consumer and ask them to come here on the platform and talk to them. Uh, this type of ad works for specific products industries where a conversation is required before making a purchase. I don't think so. Uh, a very good example of that is Geomart. So when you are buying a grocery, you don't need a conversation. But it's a good plat. This is a platform which is most least, most used platform right in India. One of the top three apps in India which are used by people who have a phone. Uh, I might not be willing to download uh, 10 different apps or go to 10 different websites, but it will be very convenient for me if I open, like if I see an ad about a business and uh, talk to them on uh, WhatsApp and they give me like the product catalog, they give me PDP options and I just make a purchase there without even uh, going, making another login or downloading another app. So, so it's, it can be utilized uh, not just for the brands who need conversation. I think Ekta, let's move to the next next round because there are 77 questions. So everyone Moj will give you a brief intro about what do we do? What is the ICNC and what have we been doing? And then we can just go on and show you the exact experience. Just hold on for 10, 15 more minutes and then we'll just go on and show you the whole experience. Over to you Moj. So you guys, I'll quickly introduce myself. So this is Mohit. I'm the co-founder and CBO at ICNC. 
so like ekta told like what are the good practices what are the you know uh, of running facebook ads click to whatsapp ads now when the lead comes to whatsapp environment how exactly you can you know leverage the full potential of ai sensei in order to convert them in order to retarget them uh, basically to generate ultimate revenue from the leads that you're generating by using click to whatsapp ads so that is something i'm going to uh, show you and explain you just after that gautam will be taking you practically like how to create an ad using our platform itself and how to convert them then retarget them and everything so you'll, you'll basically experience entire thing practically so the people who are new who don't know us i'll just quickly introduce our company what we guys are doing we basically are a meta business partner we are a bsp so first of all you will be getting the official apis from us for your brand where you can also leverage the green tick on your business account on whatsapp and we are a complete whatsapp engagement suit right from marketing right from a uh, customer support engagement automating your whatsapp notifications so everything can be done from a single platform itself so as i mentioned we are built on the official apis we are currently serving clients across the domains so it doesn't matter if you are from any industry if you are an online business we are here to help you the platform is built in such a way like it can be used by any business vertical it could be education d to c e commerce real estate any business vertical you guys can sign up on the platform and can get started on that currently we are working with clients over 25 plus countries so there is also no country restriction in terms of whatsapp um rest these are some of the clients that we are working with so as you can see they are these are across the domains and the num the clients that we are working with is across the domain so basically and also across different sizes so they are clients which are uh, enterprise they are clients which are mid market they are clients which are smbs their clients which are already public listed companies that are also working with us so the platform is basically built for all and the pricing plans and everything is also very normal ek ta exactly mentioned like how what exactly is click to whatsapp ad just to summarize once again so because a lot of customer comes to me and say like are these the ads that run on whatsapp so no these are the ads that run on facebook and instagram only but the end landing channel is a whatsapp instead of a landing page or a lead form or anywhere else so the user will click on an ad they land on your whatsapp you will set up some automation to qualify the lead or maybe to convert them then and there they can convert you can convert the lead using the automations and then uh, generate roi out of that this is something which ekta has already covered but i'll still give you a quick insight like what we have experience with our clients who are using uh, direct to whatsapp ads uh so first is you get 5x lead generation in the same monetary budget that you are spending on your ad right so if i give you an example like if you are running very standard uh you know facebook instagram ad the users are clicking on an ad going to your landing pages they are seeing a you know uh, a simple uh, form lead form they fill up the form and then you generate the lead so you this is something which you will also relate like those kind of ads hardly has 10 12% conversion rate like if 100 users are clicking on your ad hardly 10 to 12 leads you are getting uh, using that lead forms and then you can retarget them but if you are using it on whatsapp if you are using click to whatsapp ads then you can easily see an expo exponential growth of 5x in the lead generation the reason is very simple is that there is no friction in terms of user experience the if we take about the if we take the case about the traditional funnel the user clicks on an ad they go to a landing page they see a, a lot of information they surf through the website they then see a landing pay, uh, the contact form they fill up that contact form some fill some drop off from there itself and you don't generate the lead in click to whatsapp ads there is no friction the user click on an ad they land on their whatsapp they just click on the send button so within two clicks you are generating their lead you are generating their name you are generating their phone number and then you can set up some automation to qualify the lead as well but the lead generation is gen the lead generation is done within two clicks right so we have seen using click to whatsapp ads businesses are generating at least the conversion rate is at least 50% so if 100 users are clicking at least 45 to 50 leads will generate very easily and these are the leads that is now your potential customer even they are not getting converted for that particular uh, you know ad that you have targeting them but now you have their lead so tomorrow you launch some new product you can directly broadcast them with some offers and you can convert them then and there so you can keep on you know uh promoting more new products to them you can keep on engaging with them and they can keep on giving you revenue so your lifetime value of the customer will keep on increasing second is conversational is pretty straightforward like 
we spend most of our times on WhatsApp. And that's why it's very easy for, for any business to qualify the lead on WhatsApp directly by asking them questions. Also, not by making them making the user type in, like Ekta mentioned, use buttons, use list option to keep on qualifying the leads. And accordingly, then you can target them. So this is how the framework basically works. User clicks on meta ad, they start a WhatsApp conversation. Now there are three ways you can, uh, you know, carry forward the conversation. First is you can qualify the lead via a chatbot or a live chat. If you don't want to build a chatbot, that also completely fine. If you have team members who can ask them qualifying questions, that is also completely fine. Second way is to convert the, convert the lead with instant offers. So let's suppose you want to run lead generation ad also, plus you want to convert them instantaneously as well. So in the ad copy, you can have very clear call to action button, like chat with us and get 30% coupon code or something like that. So the user know, like if I'm going to send them a message on WhatsApp, I'm going to get 30% off, or they are going to give me a coupon, which will be giving me 30% off, right? So here you are basically getting two things. First is you're getting lead of the customer. Second, as soon as the leader, uh, uh, the user is sending you the message, you are giving them an option. You're giving them a coupon code, which they can use to purchase your product. So you've gotten the lead, you have gotten the product purchased. Now you have the lead, you can retarget them again, anything you got to know, like these are the users which buy on offers. So whenever you are now launching offers, you can keep on targeting them again and again, and you can keep on and your repeat purchase will basically increase. Third one is target the leads for better conversion. This I have already covered. Like even once you get to know about the customer, what sort of customer it is, you can keep on retargeting them. So this is the ASNC platform, which you can utilize. And whenever a user will send you a message, let's suppose the user sent a message by clicking on WhatsApp ad, like book a demo. Now, if you can see the chatbot is asking them qualification questions, like uh, asking them the name, so that in the name Ankur, automatically in the attributes, name will be collected. Similarly asked, what is your primary use case? Automatically that will be collected. So these are the qualification parameters, whatever qualification parameters you have, you can customize that. And on the basis of these qualification parameters, then you can retarget them again and again. This practically Gotham is going to show you. Second is from uh, our platform itself, you can create multiple template messages. We already have a template library having 300 plus template messages across different industries. So you can take inspirations from there or you can directly submit it, or you can click on new and get a new template approved and then retarget them on WhatsApp. So these are the different ways to convert the lead. Once you have generated it via call to WhatsApp ads. So first is very simple call and convert. If you're generating leads, you have a call center team. You can ask them to call them and convert them right then and there. Second way is you can download the Excel sheet. So we will be giving you segmented leads on the basis of campaigns that you're running. So let's suppose you're running five call to WhatsApp ad campaigns on, what, uh, on Facebook and Instagram. So according to which uh, campaign the user is clicking, we'll give you segregated leads. Like this campaign, these are the leads, this campaign, these are the leads. You can download it, send it to your CRMs, or you can send it to uh, via email marketing, SMS, WhatsApp, whatever you feel like, you can basically do it. Third is build user persona and qualify by conversational chatbot. This I have covered. You click, uh, you keep on asking them questions, whatever your qualification parameters are. After that, using those qualification parameters, you can filter them out. Let's suppose I'm having, I'm giving five services. So I ask the customer, like what kind of service you are looking for? So they tell us like service B or service C. Tomorrow, if I have something new about that service, I'll select all the people who are looking out for that service, select them, filter them, segment them, broadcast them the message on WhatsApp using ASNC. Or you can instantaneously send them offers as soon as they start the conversations to convert them then and there. You can retarget them based on the broadcast behavior. Like if you have sent a broadcast message to a user, how exactly they are treating your campaign on the basis of that you can retarget them. Like you'll get in that depth analytics, how many users have seen the message, how many have read it, how many have clicked on the buttons. If they clicked on the button, then which button they clicked on. If they have read, whether they have replied or not replied. If the message has been delivered, whether they have read it or not read. And within a couple of clicks, you can segment them again and retarget them according to the behavior. Or you can send product catalog messages, which we are launching in the next week. Or you can retarget them via meta it's again. So these are the ways you can use. A small case study of one of our clients, which is Limblong Wealth. They are in the edtech plus fintech space. So they work, uh, they have different courses on stock market and, you know, trading and all those things. So they are very aggressively using click to WhatsApp ads. I'm going to show you what kind of results they are driving from there. 
So as I mentioned, they are getting 40 to 50% people who click on ad, they become leads. That is something which I was telling you about. If hundred users are clicking on ad, easily 40 to people, 40 to 50 people will tap on the button, send you a message and you will generate their lead. Also, since the channel is WhatsApp, so you have better customer engagement, you have quicker lead conversion ratio because now the customer or the lead that is basically sending you a message, they are trading then in there. They are not waiting for your call center team or your, or your, or some other, uh, you know, team member to send them a mail after five, six hours or give, giving them a call after five, six hours. They are getting conversation then in there, they're getting their queries resolved then in there, and then you're getting converted there itself. So basically they use CTW to generate mobile and mobile number and the name of the user instantaneously as soon as they send the message. Also, they have seen that on WhatsApp user stays more like the engagement rate is more. Not just, you know, they keep on coming back uh, after days and they can keep on, you know, upsell them more courses and everything. And once they engage, they can directly get on a call. Once they feel like, yes, they are already a customer, we can upsell them a couple of more things. They can directly call and convert them once the relationship is basically established. So now Gautam will be taking over and he will be showing you how exactly to run this campaign directly on ASNC, how you can do it. What are the things that should take care of what all analytics you are going to get everything from the scratch Gautam is going to show you practically how to do it. Great. Thanks a lot Mohit for the wonderful session. And I hope you all got a purview of things, you know, that how uh, click to WhatsApp is going to benefit you all. Uh, but I think now it's show time a bit more to show you exactly how things are going to work, how they're going to get connected with WhatsApp uh, APIs or WhatsApp platform. What do we have for you? Uh, you might have heard or you might have seen that you can do all of this via the Facebook's ad manager. But let's talk about a bit of problems that we saw everyone was facing, you know, when they were running ads with uh, Facebook ads manager or who were even trying to run ads with Facebook's ad manager, right? So for the first problem we saw that, you know, you get leads on the Facebook ads manager and then you have to download them somewhere and then you have to, you know, think how to broadcast them or how to send them a WhatsApp message and then you have to think more about qualifying them and you have to think about everything so the whole process is kind of a bit broken right so you can generate leads and you can generate a hell lot of leads but what to do next is the question how do i streamline this process is the real question and that is exactly what i'm going to show you today uh, so i'll be sharing my screen so what i'm going to show you is that we have launched a new feature on the aicnc dashboard uh, aicnc is a platform that helps you with end-to-end -end whatsapp engagement uh, for those who don't know, we have been in industry for two and a half to three years, as Mohit shared right now, right? We have more than 2,500 plus businesses somewhere uh, who use AI Sensei for WhatsApp marketing, WhatsApp engagement and everything. And now we have launched this thing called Meta Ads. Meta Ads is basically again saying what we have been sharing for the last one hour that, okay, you can create ads from this, this space, right? So there are four steps. I'll show you the setup and I'll show you an account that we already have set up. And then I'm going to show you the real time experience of how you will see this ad, how you can just get flown away with this ad. So it's very simple, right? You need to connect your Facebook account. You need to choose your ad account. You need to choose your Facebook page and it will link your WhatsApp number. So let's say, uh, there are two sets of marketing agencies or marketers. I can say who might be in the audience. So let's suppose there are two sets of audiences, one who are very new to Facebook ads. You might not even know what Facebook ads is, or you might have never have run a Facebook ad and there are advanced marketers who know the depth of and the hacks of Facebook marketing and advertising, and you are a pro at using Facebook ad manager. So yes, I'm going to share uh, uh, the strategy for both of you, right? If you are a basic starting up with ads marketing or with Facebook ads, this is the way. And if you're going for advanced, I'll show you that. And we'll, and we'll start with the basic version first. Any kind of marketer, the first step you need to do is you need to set up an ads via AICNC. In that manner, you will get a very streamlined approach of things. And let me take you through that. So it's very simple. I'll just click on continue with Facebook. It'll link my Facebook account. You can see it's trying to somewhere link my Facebook account. And yes, Facebook has got connected. You can see on the screen, right? Now I have all my ad accounts here. You can see all these ad accounts. I can choose an ad account. Right. Once I choose an ad account, I can see which pages I want to run an ad on. Right. I can choose any kind of page. I can say, okay, this is, let's suppose AI, AI Jenny's page and I can send an OTP. Once I send an OTP, I'll submit it. And basically this number is now tagged along on this page. Right. So I'll take you through another account basically where we already have, uh, ad account set up and everything. So if I go to this project, so this project has AI Sensei's 
account and ASNC platforms page, and this number is already attached to this, right? So now this setup is how you, you can see, you know, this setup took hardly a minute, right? And that that's how simple it is to connect your Facebook ads accounts manager to ASNC. Once we have that, right? You have chosen your page. You have chosen the ad account. You have chosen the WhatsApp number. I can go to the ads manager and I can actually now create an ad, right? So this ad creation experience comes within ASNC for you. You don't need to think too much about, you know, how do I run an ads manager thing? It's very simple. I can say an advertisement name is let's suppose, uh, new ad for, uh, CTW, right. And I can say an advertisement caption, like, uh, it's time to run click to WhatsApp ads, right. I can share a website link. This website link is just for reference. No one is going to land on this website. So yeah, uh, I can enter a headline saying, okay, register for free, right? I can click, I can upload some media from the library. I can say, okay, this is the media. And this is the exact ad basically that is going to go live on Facebook, Instagram, right? I can go to next. Once I go on next, I can choose the audience targeting, right? Like as you do it on Facebook, I can say, okay, location is, let's suppose the location is Chennai and it'll fetch some locations for you. I can say Bangalore, right? I can say Mumbai, I can say Delhi, right? Let's go for four locations. I can choose both genders. I can choose the age group. I can say, okay, 24 to let's suppose 62. And I can choose some advanced targeting. Let's suppose who, everyone who uses Shopify, right? Uh, everyone who goes for marketing, right? Who has some interest in marketing. So I, I need to show them who has interest in marketing. I can say WooCommerce. I'm kind of teaching you how to run a, a WhatsApp business, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can do more advanced targeting here, or I can just go to Facebook and do, and I'll show you those advanced targeting filters also. I go to next, I can choose a budget. I can say, okay, uh, I need to run ads of 5,000 rupees, let's suppose per day. And uh, I can say, I'll, I'll run it for three days, right? So total estimated budget is 15,000 rupees and I'll set a per day budget of, you know, and it is actually showing that I have 2,668 rupees in my, this ad account, right? So uh, that's how it is. It, 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 it is. it is quite in sync with your Facebook's ads manager, right? You need to have a Facebook ads manager account. That is the first priority basically. Uh, and I'll go to next. Right. And I'll just create an ad, right. Once I do this, I'll actually get an ad is created successfully. Now here's the magic, right? So this ads name was what new ad for CTW, right? This is in process. This is not yet been active or approved by Facebook. So, you know, they, we have an ad that is already active with Facebook. I'll show you that experience, but let's go to the ads manager first, right? If you go to the ads manager, I go to campaigns. I'll just refresh this. And this is the ads manager experience, right? What I'll see is this, this campaign that we ran there, it'll be named campaign dash new ad for CTW. You can exactly see this whole experience coming into play that I ran an ad. It is showing no ad because it is in review. It'll, it'll just run, you know, in a half an hour or so it'll just get run right now. What I can do is, so this was the, this was for the basic marketers, you know, that you don't want to do too much hassle. You just want to leave it to Facebook. Right. That, okay. Facebook will figure out leads for you. Facebook with Facebook engine is very strong. As we all know, it's MLA engine will figure out the right leads for you. It will bring in more leads and everything will happen. If I'm an advanced marketer. Okay. And I want to change or I want to switch off things. I want to switch things now. Now I'll come to this set of engine. So you can run Facebook ads, click to WhatsApp ads from AI Sensei. Also, you can run it from Facebook's ad manager, but if you want to streamline thing, what I suggest is that you start with AI Sensei. Go to ads manager, like I did for my ad yesterday. So I went to Facebook ads manager and now I'm doing advanced targeting options. I can switch things from this ads experience. So what I'll do is I'll, I can change the bid. I can change a lot of things here. I can go to ad set. I can say, okay, I don't want a bid control. So by default, we have put some bid control here. I can just change this performance goal. I can say maximize number of clicks, right? And I can say, okay, I can even edit the existing audience. I can, I, if I want to change the audience, I want more detailed targeting. I can do more detailed targeting via this experience, though this same experience has been created on AI CNC, but you can add languages. You can choose manual placements from here. You can say, okay, Instagram audience network. I can just remove audience network, which is usually a strategy, right? So you can just say Facebook, Instagram. Now I can go to new ad. So I can just add my Instagram account here and that is how it is going to be. Then I can change more things from here itself. I can say, okay, I need to add more primary text. It, it can show me optimization techniques from here. I can add multiple text options, multiple text suggestions, descriptions, 
and I can even add my website even from it. Someone was asking that if I can link a pixel, yeah, absolutely, you can link the pixel. This is how you can do it, right? So now I have linked the pixel also. So it so the tracking becomes better. And why am why did we start from AI sensei? I'll show you that right away. So I can just click on publish so that this ad now gets published again, right? And it is now in sync with what AI sensei, what we did with AI sensei. And similarly, I already have one more ad that I created yesterday, right? Just for showing you, just for this experience that we have today. And this ad is quite live on Facebook, right? You can see this ad. This some people might have seen it, but this ran on a very low kind of budget. This was just for a demo today, right? What I want to do is I'm going to show you the link of this ad. And I want you all to send a send uh, click on this ad and send a WhatsApp message. And we'll do a demo right away, okay, of the whole experience. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm in the chat. I'm going to put up a link. Okay. So you'll see a link here. I hope everyone gets the, gets the link. If you have not got, I'll just share the link here. The link is very simple. It is. Yeah. This is the link. Uh, go.asnc.com slash ctwa. I'll take up questions, but yeah, please click on this link and say yes. So it will show you something like this, right? The link is, it will show you something like this and you need to select on yeah, show ad. So go to this link on your mobile and click on show ad in your feed. Once you click on show ad in your feed, it will be showing you the ad in the second or third post in the feed. And you need to click on WhatsApp. Just tap on WhatsApp. It will take you to WhatsApp. It will open up WhatsApp and uh, it will say, okay, I saw this on Facebook. So I want you all to try out this experience. And this is something amazing that you're going to see. This is a live uh, demo. I can say for this whole stuff that we're doing right today. So just click on this link. I hope everyone has got this link. Yeah. So everyone has this link on their chat. The link is very simple. I'll share it again. It's go.asnc.com slash ctwa. What it will take you to is, is the ad experience, right? And you need to click on show ad. Once you click on show ad, you'll have to click on this WhatsApp. It will show you this ad on your feed and you can just click on WhatsApp. Okay. Once you click on WhatsApp, whatever is written there, like I saw this on Facebook, just click on enter and just go on the start of the conversation. I saw this on Facebook. You'll see something like that, right? So I want you all to do this. Come on, everyone. Absolutely. Amazing. People have started doing it. So you can see I am getting your leads here, right? So everyone, and this is how campaigns actually work. So this was a campaign. This was an ad that I ran, right? I gave you the ad link though. This ad will be spread out by Facebook and everything, but this is the ad experience that you get to see, right? Uh, you can click on this ad. Once you click on this ad, you'll get a Facebook. You'll get this ad. You'll click on WhatsApp. Once you click on WhatsApp, you, you are saying actually, I saw this on Facebook. I can see people here say that, okay, I saw this on Facebook. You can see this. I can see Aditya ha having this message. I can see Guru Kripa sending this message. Neha sending this message, everyone. Now, what we are actually doing is all those leads that come in from a single campaign, you can actually see them on one campaign under your click to WhatsApp ads experience. So in the ads manager inside meta ads, you can click on this active ad. Okay. And I can see all the leads that are being generated. I can also see the number of messages you are making, right? Five elements reality. I got Neha. I got pixel height. I got valid us. I got 14 leads out here. Right. And this is just a beginning, right? So the first thing that we did was streamlining all the leads right now. If you don't have this whole, if you didn't run this ad from AI Sensei, again, you'll get leads on Facebook's ad manager and you will not know what to do next. You'll have to import them. You'll have to put a tag and you have to segregate them. Now you have all these leads in one place. Secondly, you already know. So we have a lead type existing. We have lead type new, right? Since we have been broadcasting new messages from this number, right? So some people might be using the same number. Some people might be using a different number, right? So we exactly know that if someone has messaged before, they are an existing lead type. If someone has not messaged before to this number, they are a new lead for us, right? So now I can even segregate. I can say, okay, I just want to see those new leads or I, I can only, I just want to see existing leads, right? But still, if I click on a refresh, I'll get more. I think I have just 14 people. If you want, you can just try it out again. If you are experiencing any difficulties, you can just click, go to this link. But I, I wish to have more people here. Yeah. Go.asnc.com slash ctwa, right? And you'll get a show ad option. It will show you the ad like in this one. You can click on show ad. It will start showing you the ad. You can click on then WhatsApp on this ad. This is the ad that we ran basically. But the next step, you know, now the question comes up is what next, right? So all of these people, I would like you what I would like you to click on book a demo. So what I did was, so we have, so like Mayur has done exactly. And that is exactly what we wanted you to do Mayur uh, or Guru Rupa Enterprises, right? So I'll show you how did we qualify this lead here, right? I would like you to choose any option. 
so as and when you said i saw this on facebook we have a chatbot out here that is saying hi thank you for your interest join our webinar which is precisely this, this webinar link and there's a link and there's a button saying book a demo this is a quick reply button which you can click and start booking a demo for yourself now once uh, guru kripa you know who has uh, software wala if i would say has you know started cl clicked on book a demo we we started asking him a bit a few questions basically right and this is the benefit of asking the name right because the name here could be different but now i know that this was mayur right so thanks a lot mayur first of all and mayur has set up inquiry so he has set up his name as mayur and he answered a few more questions so these are the questions that i was asking that would love to know your primary use case kindly share your industry all of it right so mayur type 3 and it showed whatsapp chatbot and i have these details as attributes so now everyone who is starting off a chat i would like you to click on booker demo type in your name choose any option and go on so that i can show you the demo out here like here same goes for sor name right he clicked on booker demo right and you can choose any industry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 sor name and you can see here that i am getting these leads and i'm aggregating these leads into attributes also so now this is basic a basic qualification that i'm getting right that with the inquiry name was sor name the type was whatsapp chat what the industry was whatsapp tech marketing industry similar for everyone who whoever is you know answering these chats and whoever is going on with with, with booker demo option so basically this is the first level of qualification that i can do i can broadcast to this audience but let's go back to the meta ads experience right this is one thing that you can do as mohit shared that you need to qualify these leads which you can do with this experience but let's suppose <coughs> sorry so we have 16 people out here right let's suppose i wanted to broadcast a message to all of these leads that i got from you know this meta ad right because that is the next step right let's suppose there was an event and i need to do broadcast a message to all of them before 5 minutes before the event so i'll tell you for this event uh, i'll give you the stats right so we had almost 400 registrations 5 minutes before we shot a message and we have 200 200 turn ups right so that is the turn up rate and i've seen in the whole event industry whole webinar industry that the turn up rate is brought up by whatsapp right and we have more than 200 people here today so that's a that's an amazing turn up rate turn up rate and we just have sent you whatsapp messages right moving on further what you can do from here is you can actually choose all of them and broadcast a message and this is the most amazing part i feel that now you can start targeting them on whatsapp in a very very streamlined manner right so now i have all these leads in one place i can click on broadcast and i can actually send a message i can say okay this is ct uh, wa campaign 153 i can choose an offer message right so i have this offer message here i am and i'm confirm i'm configuring this message for you all i can choose the name okay i have a name and if it cannot find your name it will say hey there right so we have parameters that you can use you can i can use your inquiry name whatever parameters you have put up i can use that in the message also this is a discount coupon code message right i can add 10% discount and i can say this is a brand name your brand name will be seen and i can say pricing right but the more i can choose an image i can say okay this is the image i can say image and i can click on send now right once i click on send now i have actually broadcasted a message to every one of them who came via click to whatsapp ads campaign right i'll go to campaign and you all might have received a message right and i can actually see the real time statistics if i go to campaigns i can actually see there are different types of campaigns on my dashboard but i'll just refresh this once right you can see a broadcast campaign has been sent here right okay let me check what just happened yeah so it has been sent and uh, it will take it will reach to everyone in just in one or two minutes more right so yeah sent to four people delivered to three people and i can i can actually see whom the campaign has been delivered to whom it has been read with and if uh, validators genel or pixelite can even click on that campaign i'll get the click rates so this message had a click tracking enabled on this template if you click on this i'll exactly get who all clicked on this also and in the similar fashion we have multiple messages here right so you see that we are almost using whatsapp like crazy at this point of time we use it for our use very regularly sent to nine people delivered seven read four clicked four i can actually see who clicked and i can also see who clicked how many times now click is a very high intent metric right if you know who is clicking like i remember 6 years back when i was into marketing and i used to do email marketing a lot i 
was crazy. I used to go to Mailchimp. I I was sitting hours and hours on Mailchimp just to find this was B two B. But yeah, uh, to find who is clicking on this campaign and how many times. Because once I know that intent, right, that you clicked on my campaign, right, I'm not gonna leave you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna send you an email again. I'm gonna message you and all of that stuff. But today's email, yesterday's email is today's WhatsApp, right? I can see that. Okay, Pratyak has clicked five times. Okay, and. Abhishek has clicked two times, right? So this is the benefit that you get of this platform, right? That I can see in the campaign section, how many it has been sent to, sent to 16, delivered to 13, clicked by 10 people, read by 10 people, right? And that is how it goes, right? Abhishek and Pratyaksh has clicked six, six times. So amazing guys, thanks a lot. Uh, but yeah, that is how it goes on, right? So you can see that people have read, people have clicked and they're going on further with the campaign. And this is the beauty of it. What I can do is I can broadcast a campaign again to, I can even export this. You can export leads from anywhere, anytime. Don't worry about that. But what you can do is that you can broadcast a campaign again. And this is, this is what we talked about when we say retargeting and when we share that, okay, this platform is a very deep platform in terms of your WhatsApp experience. I think uh, I can bet on this, that we have one of the best platforms in terms of marketing engine. Uh, I don't, I, I haven't yet seen any platform in, so with so much depth in terms of marketing, right. But, uh, the whole goal is the same, right? Uh, it's not about boasting about what we have built, but it's more about, you know, what are we trying to build? So our key goal with this company and with the whole vision is basically saying that, okay, I want to drive 30% to 80% revenue of each and every business that I work with. And. Somewhere we have been successful doing it. We drive 30% revenue for Skull Candy today, right? We work with Physics Walla very closely. We work with Vivo. We work with uh, Art of Living. We work with a lot more brands where we take the responsibility of revenues. If you follow the right strategies, I'm pretty much sure you will expand and boost your revenue by two to three times, like in, in the next two days, right? That, that's how quick it is. And I can just, again, choose a message. These are all the messages that we have got approved. And you can see that all those messages which have a click tracking enabled, you can see those also. Right. So I can say, okay, let's suppose this is another message. I can send them. Okay. This is another click to WhatsApp ads template. I can even schedule this campaign. I can say, okay, I want now this campaign to go after five days or after two days or after three days. So I can do that. Right. I can schedule campaigns from here itself in the similar fashion. So this is how, you know, uh, everyone, this is how things build up in click to WhatsApp ads. This is what you can do. You can qualify these leads. You can run ads from here itself. Right. I can even sync this with meta. Right. I can say, okay, what's going on. Let's see. So it, the status has changed in front of you from, you know, uh, something to pending, pending review, basically, right. To being processed, to be, to being in pending review now. So now in half an hour, somewhere this ad will get approved and you'll, we'll start getting leads on this ads and things will get, get started off. Right. So I got 17 users here. If I want, I can broadcast again. I can see the messages that you're uh, bringing in. So I'm not replying anything, but I can see the number of messages that are coming in. All of that can be seen here and you can run this experience from here, Meta Edge itself, right? Going on further, you have template. I'll share a quick demo of the platform also so that I think it has been, uh, some people are very new to this. So yeah, uh, you can, you have a template library, so you can choose these template messages right from here itself. You don't need to think what I need to type or what message I should send. We have curated messages, almost 300 plus messages with the industry, with top rated with everything. So you can just choose your industry. You can submit these messages and you can go on. You can see all the approved messages that we have here. There's opt-in management. So you can manage. If someone wants to opt out, you can define keywords on what messages should you opt them out from future communication and you can send them a message also. Furthermore, we are coming with a lot of features. We launched a feature yesterday called Ecom Plus. So Ecom Plus is again, uh, very close to my heart. I'll take two minutes to, you know, explain this feature. This is basically saying that you have abandoned cart, abandoned carts. If you are using Shopify or WooCommerce, you can connect your Shopify stores or your WooCommerce stores right from here itself. Once you connect these stores, you can set up messages again, order confirmation messages, and you can enable some flows, right? For abandoned cart for confirmation and for, for COD confirmation, we have COD confirmation flows for order. We have order, order feedback or reordering flows, order confirmation, order cancellation and abandoned cart one, abandoned cart two, abandoned cart three. The best part is you don't need to do anything. You just need to come here, set up your store, set up some messages, enable flows and it'll enable everything for you. If you wish to change these messages, you can change these messages, but we have been doing this for the last two years. We have a lot of stores on Shopify WooCommerce and hence we build this experience very self-serve, right? You don't need to actually come to us or say, okay, how much time will it take to set up? This will also take five minutes to set up hardly. And then we have a lot of integrations. We have integrations with Razorpay, we have WhatsApp link generator, WhatsApp website widget, Shopify WooCommerce I showed you, right? Integrately, lead squared, all of it. 
and yeah, this is for meta ads, right? So now I'll be open to take up questions. Uh, but yeah, I would like to know that uh, I'll show you one, one last thing here. So you can see here, so you can see all the charts here uh, and we almost have 1100 charts and which is a good volume to handle also. So in terms of volume, we have been handling, I think more than a lakh charts here uh, uh, for each customer, uh, those customers who are big also, right? And I can intervene charts. I can see who has intervened the chat, who is intervening, what all charts have been intervened by Swapnil, right? And you can see it here, right? I can even transfer chats on those nodes. I can take up a chat and I can, you know, I can take over chat by Swapnil. I can, I can, I can transfer it to someone else. I can say, okay, intervene by me and I can transfer it to someone else. So there's a complete agent management system. Someone was asking that, how do I segregate leads? How do I transfer it to different agents? The even better part is I can go to agents and I can configure. Okay. Uh, the owner can actually configure whom to, you know, show what kind of chats, right? So, uh, I'll have to find that, but yeah, so you can see it. It's a pro feature. Okay. No worries. So I can actually configure that. Uh, I'll have to see if I have a different pro plan here. One second. So we have multiple numbers and we keep juggling be between them in that sense. So I can actually configure that. Okay. This agent can see these kind of chats for uh, these agents can see these kind of chat from this campaign or this attribute or this tag, right? So there's a hard filter that is set up on agents. So you don't need to worry that, okay, this agent can see that chat or that agent can see this chat. If you have multiple zones like Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, you can ensure that all agents are only seeing the chat that they wish to see, right? And this is very advanced basically, right? So you can add multiple agents. We have unlimited agents here, right? And you can add multiple agents. You can convert them to an agent or a manager. Manager have access to all the campaigns and everything, right? And that is for the platform, right? Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot, everyone. A lot of people are here and what I'll do is I'll share a number with you, which you can actually, you know, uh, so we have a, you know, link here. This is a link generator. If anyone wants to run click to WhatsApp ads, get onboarded on the WhatsApp platform, like do anything basically right around whatever you saw, you might have to solve just one use case, or you might have to solve all use cases. The key point is that you need to drive more revenue and we are here to help you out with it. I need you to scan this and say hi or say whatever is written on there. It is written. I rendered the CTW webinar. Our support team and our sales team basically is out there ready to help you. And this is again a WhatsApp link and a WhatsApp QR. You can just scan this or you can just take this link, right? You can click on this link or you can just scan this. I'll also share this link also. If you wish to connect with our team, our team is readily available, right? Uh, just after the session, the, our team is readily available. You can just click on this link. I'll just share it in a link format. Yeah. So you can just click on this link or you can just scan this QR if you have your phones uh, with you right now. You can just scan this QR and you can just get in touch with our sales teams so that they can help you out with getting onboarded on click to WhatsApp ads, with WhatsApp in integrations, with, you know, everything is very self-served though. But yeah, that's it for it. Again, thanks a lot, Ekta. Thanks a lot, Mohit, for being here also, right? Uh, and uh, doing this session with us.